I bought this amazingly looking capture card from Avermedia, the Live Gamer Bolt. In a good will, I would be able to record computer screens during configuration process on my 2019 Mac Pro in macOS Monterey directly, without help of other systems with Windows and Linux. Oh man, I was so wrong. So spoiler alert, I decided to make this video to warn Apple Mac users so they don't do the same mistake as me, don't waste money and time as I did. For years I was using the Elgato 4K60 Pro Mark II and Avermedia Live Gamer 4K. Great capture cards, but their biggest problem in my eyes is it runs only on Windows. No macOS software available. In 2022 there is no capture card which would be able to record computer screens during all phases of boot in 4K, 60fps and HDR in macOS. Period. That's a sad fact. I have here a bunch of Blackmagic, Decklink and Ultra Studio cards. Professional products. They produce excellent image, that without debate, but only when fed by single constant resolution and frame rate. But when you boot your computer, and no matter if it's PC or Mac, it will go through several resolution changes until it finally settles on your operating system desktop. So Blackmagic devices cannot be used here at all. That's why you need cards like the mentioned Elgato and Avermedia. So when I saw the Avermedia Live Gamer Bolt with Thunderbolt 3 connection and specifications like 4K, 60fps, HDR, all over their product page, no latency, and which works with macOS High Sierra and above, I was sold and I decided to spend my own money on it. On my 2019 Mac Pro, I installed latest software from their website, connected my 32-inch 4K display to it next to my 1080p one, and full of excitement, I started their RE Central, the main app. And, and, N nothing. <laughs> My latest macOS Monterey kept connecting and disconnecting the display despite I had the HDCP protection off. Simply I wasted about 15 minutes watching this crazy behavior until suddenly image appeared on my display and also in the RE central window out of nowhere. I have no idea why, because my settings were all the time the same and I used quality 8K certified HDMI cables. Mystery. So I set my recording settings to maximum quality possible, which is 3480 by 2160, 60 FPS, 120 megabits and H.265 codec and did my first recording of my Mac Pro screen on scrolling a text on a website. By the way, that's a great test for capture cards. It's working, yeah! N no, it wasn't. When I checked the recorded file, I was shocked. 4K resolution, yes. 60 FPS, yes but also a bunch of bloody mess. It's all a bloody man. Look, here you can see the comparison side by side. My 24 core Xeon and two Radeon Pro Vega 2 GPUs with 64 gigabytes of video memory for sure must be enough for this easy task. So then I wasted several hours trying to record different computers, different settings, UI scaling, full resolution. Simply I tried everything, believe me, but I always did get just a bunch of bloody pixels. <laughs> and then I realized the RE Central is on top of that missing one key feature, the HDR button toggle. So despite their huge advertisement on website as 4K60 HDR, it simply cannot record HDR on macOS at all. Yeah, but to their credit, they really mention this on their website. But hidden on the specs page, hidden behind asterisks and tiny letters somewhere down on the bottom of the page. Always, when primarily Windows focused companies try to produce some macOS software, it's a disaster. No light at the end of the tunnel. No Apple Silicon support. But as I showed you, it's not working well even on Intel Macs like my 2019 Mac Pro. So, darling, don't waste your money and time on this unless you want to use it as a fancy decoration with those really nice RGB effects. Maybe in Windows it works great, but I'm a Mac and they are PC. My YouTube channel is dedicated strictly to give help to people with Apple Mac products. By the way, speaking of help, if you would need any help with your Apple Mac, Windows or Linux computer, I offer one-on-one -on -one video calls and remote sessions to your computer on my Patreon and my Morgonaut.cloud website. Links in this video description. 
you can book a live meeting with me in just few clicks. So I hope I saved you some money and made your day again a little better. If so, then hit the like button below to help to this channel and to me produce for you more useful videos like this in future. And you should definitely check my other useful videos here. Take care and see you next time my Macintosh friends.